Hi friends. Today we're going to measure. When you measure something, you want to see how long something is, how tall, how short, or maybe how wide something is. In order to measure, we're going to use a tool called a ruler. A ruler will help you know how long something is when you measure it. This is my ruler that we are going to use. What are these, friends? They're beach balls. Good job. We're going to use this beach ball ruler to measure our objects here. Let's see, what do we have? Who knows what that is? Ava, a shovel, good job. What about this? What do you think that is, Abella? It's a seashell, good job. Okay, and what about this one? What is this? Caden? It's a bucket, good. You use all of these things when you go to the beach to make you can make a sandcastle, right? And you use beach ball at the beach? You sure do. So Miss Horton is going to show you how to use a ruler to measure. So we're gonna start with our, what is that called again? Oh, shovel, that's right. We're gonna look at our shovel and right next to our shovel, we have an arrow. It's pointing down and up. Miss Horton is going to take her ruler and I'm gonna put it right next to the arrow. Okay, so where the arrow stops, we wanna put the bottom right at the beginning of the arrow. And then where the arrow stops is where we count. So let's move this over so you can see the arrow. So we want to know how many beach balls long is this shovel? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, do I need to count these up here? I don't because is the shovel up here? No, nope, I only count the balls that go that stop with the arrow. So let's count again. One, let me hear you. Two, three, four, five. So our shovel is five beach balls long. Miss Horn's gonna write a five so we can remember. There goes my five. Okay, next we are going to measure our pail. We're going to measure our pail. Nyla, do you think that you can help me measure the pail? Okay, good. So I'm going to take my beach ball ruler and I'm going to start it right at this end of the arrow. And I'm only going to count up to where the arrow ends. Can you count for me, Nyla? Two, three. Good. Three beach balls. Do we need to count these beach balls? Why? You're right, because the pail isn't over here. We stop right at the end of the arrow. So how many beach balls long is, is this bucket? Three, kiss your brain, Nyla. So we're gonna write a three. This bucket is three beach balls long. Okay, it's time to do our, what is it called again? Oh, our seashell, that's right. Thank you so much. Kyson, can you help me count, um, measure how long our seashell is? Okay, Ms. Horton's gonna put the ruler here. Okay, I put it where it starts and then where it ends. Remember, we only count to where it ends. Go ahead and count for me, Kyson. Good, how many did you count? You counted four, good job. One, two, three, four. My friends, do we need to count these over here? No, because the seashell is not over here. It's over here. So this seashell is four beach balls long. Good job, friends. Ms. Horton is going to write the number four. Okay, you guys did a, what's wrong? Oh. That's not a four, is it? What number is that? That's a six. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Let me erase that. Now I need to write what number again? A four, okay. Is that better? Great. So you guys did a really good job with that. We're gonna do one more page. I think that some of my friends are really gonna like this one. What are we going to measure this time, friends? Yeah, we're going to measure dinosaurs. Ethan, isn't this really cool? Yes. Okay, so we are going to measure 
three different dinosaurs. And to measure those dinosaurs, we're going to use a bones ruler, okay? Like dinosaur bones. So we're going to start with our, I think this is the T-Rex, right, Ethan? Okay, we're going to start with our T-Rex. And can you help me count how long the T-Rex is? How many bones long? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So Miss Horton is going to put her ruler right next to her arrow because it tells me where to start and stop. Can you count the bones for me, Ethan? Good. Do I need to count the bones up here? No, because the dinosaur is not up there. So how many did you count? How many bones long is this dinosaur, Ethan? Kiss your brain. It is three bones long. So I'm going to write the number three. Good job. Okay, next. Let's go ahead and look over here. I think this is the Stegosaurus, Ethan, is that right? Okay. Abella, can you count and see how many bones long our Stegosaurus is? Okay, go ahead and count for me. Well, no, not five. Remember our arrow start stops right here. So we're not gonna count any of these. Let's count again. Good, how many bones long is this Stegosaurus? How many did you count? Four, good job, Abella, kiss your brain. You're gonna write a four. Okay, we're gonna do our last one, friends. Mm, Mackenzie, would you like to count how wide this, stego um, this pterodactyl dinosaur is? Okay, great, thank you. So Ms. Horton's gonna take her bone ruler. My friends say ruler. Good. And I'm going to put it right next to the arrows. Mackenzie, I think you can do this. Go ahead and tell me how many bones long is this pterodactyl? One, two, three. This is, this pterodactyl is three bones long. Good job, my friends. Does anybody notice anything? We have a three, a three, and a four. What is that word that we use when two things are the, they are the same, good job. And when two things are the same, when we're talking about numbers and math, they are e. can you guys remember that word? I heard it equal, good job. So this T-Rex was three bones long, tall, and this pterodactyl was Three bones wide, three and three are equal. You guys did a great job. My friends, I'm so glad that you could measure with me today. I will see you guys soon. Bye.